I want to send my condolences out to the late, great John Madden. And it was just four days ago on Christmas Day when I watched his documentary. It was a very, very great documentary. I wish I could enjoy it more because, as y'all know, Christmas Day, I was under the weather. I still kind of am, but I'm getting better, though. But that's besides the point. But it was a really good documentary, and it was a segment about somebody was saying that his video game, the Madden series, will continue on after his death. And then how eerie that three days later, he passed away. I was at work when I got the message, and I was stunned. I went in shutdown mode the rest of the day. Like, yo, I'm going to say this hit me hard, but... You know, you talking about a legendary icon in the NFL. Not even just the NFL, but the foot is you know this is a big loss for football, you know. As y'all know, John Madden, he's the coach of the Raiders from nineteen sixty nine to nineteen seventy seven. Won a Super Bowl with them, Super Bowl eleven over Minnesota Vikings. And then he crossed over to broadcasting once his cultural career came to a complete close. Y'all know he started up the Madden series, the foot, uh, the video games, excuse me, in the late 80s. And what makes, I know people like to say the game sucks nowadays. I haven't played, well, I, ha I have, but I haven't got a new, I have played Madden lately. Matter of fact, I was playing it last night in honor of his passing. But, what I'm saying, but I haven't bought a new Madden game in seven years. That's what I'm trying to say. So, I don't know what's going on with the game today. Only thing I can go off of is YouTube videos. So, the graphics look, ah, the graphics look good. I will admit that. But. but, yeah, it's definitely an icon. And what makes the Madden game so unique, as I was getting to that, is that it was like the first 11 on 11 video game that ever came out in the video game world because you know you before Madden you had like the Mattel game from the 70s and all that is probably 707 and John Madden had the same uh, had the scene if it's not 11 on 11 it's not real football he wanted real football you got to respect him for that and he was a hell of a broadcaster too he, you know broadcast a couple of Super Bowls Manny Super Bowl 31, that, that's the one that stick out to me the most. He was on all four major networks, ABC, CBS, NBC, and Fox. I do remember him on Fox in the late 90s, early double zeros. And I do remember him on Sunday Night Football when they crossed over to NBC in 2006. You know, this dude, John Madden was, he's definitely an icon, like I say. You know, a lot of people remember him from his coaching days. A lot of people remember him, remember him from his video games. A lot of people remember him for his sounds during the commentary. Boom! And all that. Some people may remember him from the Tanatna commercials and the Miller Lite commercial. And he just, he just had, like, this fun personality that you would like to be around. You know, I found out that he... Did not like to fly. He did flow back in the day, but after a while, like he he had like a uh, anxiety attack, so he stopped flying. Started the Madden bus, and and the thing about the Madden bus is like it, it allowed him to go into smaller towns that you probably would never expect a main figure of John Madden stature to go to, and he was able to connect to a lot of people, you know. John Madden was loved. Everybody liked John. Well, I won't say everybody, but a lot of people liked John Madden. A lot of some people even loved him, you know. And it just for the fact that he's no longer here. He is gone. 
Yeah, this is going to take a hard, hard hit in the football world. I don't think the football world is going to recover for the rest of this football season. Let's just be real. And I hate the Raiders, but my heart goes out to the Raider organization because they lost what, in my opinion, is the best coach they ever had in a franchise history. You know, he had the highest winning percentage. Uh, uh, highest winners. I can talk right. He had the highest winning percentage of all coaches, like even over Vince Lombardi, over Tom Landry, over Don Shula, over uh, Curly Lambeau, over uh, George Hallis. That was amazing. Like I think his percentage like eight something. That was amazing. He didn't really lose a lot of games with the Raiders. So this dude no coaching. He knows it. So, but yeah. Rest in peace to John Madden at the age of 85. And most definitely, he will not be forgotten. His legacy will forever live on. Even for generations who haven't been born yet, they're going to know about John Madden. Trust me, they will. And they're going to grow to appreciate what he's done for the sport once they become conceived and they start getting the football and they realize how much John Madden really meant to the NFL organization. Rest in peace, John Madden.